Thank you for coming so quickly, Your Majesty. You said it was urgent? Where are we going, Duncan? The Energizer Chamber. Wow. I haven't been down here since I was a boy. There's been no need for anyone to come down here, but there is now. Eternium, the most powerful substance on the planet. This one piece has supplied all our power for centuries. Duncan, what happened? Its energy is almost used up. If that rock goes, everything on the planet would come to a stop. Everything but Skeletor, he'd just walk in and take over. We need a new piece of Eternium. It won't be that easy. Eternium is nearly impossible to find. Hey, what happened? The light... It's getting worse. We need a replacement. And very soon. That's it, Burby. Just a little higher. Okay, right there. Now get out of the way. Let's see if my aim is any better today. Oh, I missed again. Hey there, Chad. Why the long face? Oh, it's the scatter ray. How am I ever going to join the Royal Guard if I can't aim straight? Mm, maybe you aren't cut out to be a soldier. Why is it so important to you? Oh, come on, Grandpa. You've seen He-Man and Tila. Well, I want to fight evil like they do. Just think. I mean, zooming around on a sky sled and having all those powerful weapons, going up against Skeletor's warriors. Oh, that's what I call fun! Mm, don't be so sure, Chad. Fighting is something horrible. It's not the fun and games you make it out to be. When people fight, people get hurt. Don't you think you'd feel differently if... Well, I, I mean, if you could walk. You know, you've never asked me why I can't walk. I was afraid to ask. And I didn't tell you because you were too young. But now that you're old enough, maybe you should hear about it. What is it, Burby? <laughs> By the sands of time. I never dreamed I would actually see it. What is it? You've just found a piece of Eternium. Wow! <laughs> Good news, Duncan. I've just received a telebeam from an old friend of mine in the sands of time. His grandson found some Eternium. Thank heavens, we can tell the energy patrol to stop looking. First, we better send Tila to guard that rock. Right away, Your Majesty. It was the fault of your fault, Raptor. Skeletor wouldn't have made us stay here watching his screen if you hadn't crashed his doom buster. Ah, uh, stop burgling in my ear. It was your seaweed that gummed up the controls. What's that? Eternium. The pieces moving across the sands of time. Let's take it for ourselves. Anthor, bring us the key. <laughs> we don't need a key. Oh, why didn't you do that before? I don't like to eat between meals. Come on, let's get that Eternium. <laughs> Tila ought to be here pretty soon. Tila? She's coming here? Didn't I tell you? King Randor is sending her to escort us. You mean I get to meet her? Well, I suppose if you wanted to. Grandpa! Of course you can meet her, Chad. Did you hear that, Burby? We get to meet Tila! <laughs> Eternium is right down there. Yeah, and no one to stop us but a boy and an old man in a jet chair. This will be easier than I thought here. Hey, look! Is that Tila? Chad, quick, hand me the scatter ray and the force shield. But you don't know how to use... No, no, Chad, just give them to me. We'll take that, Rock. It is ours. Now leave us in peace. Let's freeze him, Merman. <laughs> 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 
Shrimp? Wow. I didn't know you could handle a shield like that. Let's just see how strong their weapons are. Yikes! He's too good with that thing. I don't believe it. Why, you're the best shot I've ever seen. There's a lake over there. Get one of them water creatures you control. Yes. Arise from the depths to obey your master. Blast it, Grandpa! No, I will not use this on any living thing. We've got to do something! Let's try and get out of here. That's your department, Chad. After them! What's wrong? Your seaweed come to pick and pose again. Honestly, Adam, I don't know why my father wanted all of you to come with me. <laughs> me neither. Hey! What's that up there? Oh, look! Uh-oh. It's a man and a boy. They're in trouble. Trouble for them means trouble for me. Hang on. <laughs> Dangerous, so I want you three to wait here. Oh, with pleasure. By the power of Grayskull. I can't do it. Maybe I can scare the monster off. Hang on! It's Tila! And He-Man, too! Need a hand? Wow, I don't believe it! I think it's my turn to stop this creature and your turn to help the people. You got it! to yourself, all six of them. Come on, you'll be safer over there. Taylor, could you put your finger here for a second? <laughs> that should hold you long enough for us to be on our way. Where's that monster? Let me at him. You're a little late, Orko. Not to mention you were supposed to wait in the Wind Raider. Now where's Adam? <laughs> he wasn't himself. In other words, he panicked and went back for help in the Wind Raider. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I think we'd better get out of here before our friend gets loose. And before Merman and Trapjaw catch up. So they're behind this. We'll be ready if they show up again. Uh -oh. Now what? I'm getting a distress call from my Spinosaur. That old man and boy couldn't beat that thing. Turn around! Turn around! It was he man who did it! Now we'll never get the Eternium. When it was so close, I could almost taste it. Taste it? Hmm. I wonder. The Eternium is the most powerful substance on the planet. So? Suppose I ate some of it. Why would you do that? Well, if I ate it, it might make me... It would make you as powerful as He-Man. Right. Then I'll show He-Man a thing or two. <laughs> and the rest of Eternia, too. Come on, Merman. It's time for my lunch. <laughs> I'll be turning him. I guess we won't have any more trouble from Trap Jaw and Merman. Don't be so sure, Chad. <laughs> We've still got a long way to go. And it's not like Skeletor's warriors to give up so easily. Nice Fuzzby. How about a bone? <laughs> What's your Fuzzby's name? Furby. Grandpa and I found him as a pup. He's my best friend in the whole world. How about a little sip of water? 
Uh, oops, I think I overdid it. <laughs> Just a little slip of the hat. You're a funny magician. Let's just say he's funny. I wish they'd hurry. It's too drowny for me here. Quit whining, you sea parent sissy. Here they come. I'll lure you with my dropper. Then you grab the eternium. And I'll back you back up. You better make this worth my while. I told you, when I eat that rock, I'll make one third of the planet into an ocean. Wait a minute. You said two thirds before. Is that right? Yeah. Why do you double cross it? Whoa! Yes, and something tells me it's Trapjaw and Merman. Now my only hope is, is this grabber. Hey, He-Man, Tila, look! It's Trapjaw! I'll take care of it. At last, one of my devices worked. Now they come as powerful as He-Man. Uh-oh. I can feel it. It's, it's working. It's a long way down. Will it be the easy way or the hard way? Not so fast, He-Man. This time, I'm as strong as you are. Yes, this means the hard way. But Trapjaw ate some Eternium. It's given him incredible power. Catch me, man! It's Grimmy! I'll handle him! Oh, he's gonna stay at Snake Mountain! Let me help you, He-Man. I'll use my ray if I have to. No, I know how you feel about it. Out of my way! <laughs> That'll teach you to be so grabby. I'm through playing, E-Man. I used to make the same mistake myself. That's showing him, He-Man. What's that? Sounds like our friend's eating his way out. I'm losing my power. Whoa. I need more Eternium. No! Furby, don't eat it! Creatures like Trapjaw can eat rocks! You can eat all the rocks you want in the prison mines. Tila, take care of him. A porter prison should hold him. Hey, man, it's Burby. He's real sick. I think he might be dying. I may know someone who can help him. <laughs> My 
by the power of Grayskull. I command the Jaw Bridge. Open! You wait here. It's too late for my magic to help him. What about the Chamber of Life? A mortal will have to take him inside the chamber. Its magic is too dangerous and I can't control it. Open the chamber, sorceress. Very well, he man Hang on, Burby. You and Burby were very brave, like real soldiers. I never thought Burby would get hurt. I know how you feel, Chad. I used to be a soldier. You? So you weren't always in a jet chair? No. Many years ago, I could walk, run, play ball, just like you. What happened then? Well, it was near the end of the Orc War. I was a young soldier stationed near a mining camp in the sands of time. A group of orcs was attacking the camp. I was on patrol nearby and came to defend the miners. I was caught with the scatter ray, and this was the moment I'd been waiting for. I fired at the orcs. My rays missed, but the orcs were frightened off. I was rather pleased with myself until I heard the rumbling. My fancy shooting had loosened the cliff. And the mountain fell on top of us. Later, I pulled myself out of the rubble. My legs were paralyzed. I would never walk again. But I was one of the lucky ones. Many didn't come out at all. Anyway, I swore never to use the scatter ray again. Grandpa, I had no idea. But that's all in the past. Right now, it's Burby that I'm worried about. He man's been gone a long time. Here he comes! <laughs> Good as new. Oh, Kirby. He-Man, you saved him. Thank you, He-Man. How can we ever repay you? Wouldn't happen to have any Eternium on you, would you? As a matter of fact, I did pick up a few pieces. You did? That's terrific. What good will little pieces do you? Watch. <laughs> You're squeezing them into one big rock. There it is. Enough to power Eternia for a long, long time. Let's get it to the palace. Good idea. Your grandpa tells me you want to be a soldier. I did. I mean, I thought it was all fun and games. Now I'm not so sure. People get hurt when they fight. You bet they do. It could be you, or even someone you love. Like Burby. Yes, or your grandpa. Fighting didn't turn out to be much fun for him. Yeah. It's something to think about, Chad. But if you still decide you want to join the guard, I'll put in a good word for you. Wow! A recommendation from Heyman! Let's get going! Sometimes movies and television adventure series like this one make it seem as though shooting a gun, fighting and taking chances are fun and exciting things to do. And what's more, the good guys never get hurt. But in real life, people do get hurt, even killed when they fight or use guns. Make-believe can be fun, and there's nothing wrong with imagining great adventures. But never forget that when it's the real thing, someone can get hurt. Even the good guys. Even you. <laughs>